in our Farm Basics time, we're going to talk about soil microbes. We got a question on Ag PhD Radio the other day about if pesticides hurt soil microbes or if they actually help them. Well, this is an interesting debate because I want you to think about what are pesticides. If we talk about herbicides, they kill weeds, right? So what are soil microbes? They're going to be bacteria or fungi. So is a herbicide going to kill a bacteria or fungi? No. How about an insecticide? No. It's just when we get down to the fungicide, will a fungicide kill soil bacteria? Well, no, obviously not. But would a fungicide kill soil fungus? It's possible, but not every fungicide kills every fungus out there. No, and also you have to kind of keep in mind where are we applying this? Like, let's say, for example, you put a fungicide right out there in furrow and you put it in a narrow little strip. Is it going to kill soil fungus right around that? You bet it is. But when you think about the whole volume of your soil, if we're talking about one narrow little strip out there, it's not going to have a great impact on your soil fungus. Now, I try to equate it like this. If you're putting something out to kill neem nematodes. Like many farmers are doing this year, they're dropping something in the furrow on soybeans to try and kill nematodes. They aren't going to make one bit of difference for that whole field. They're just trying to influence that seed zone and that's it. And these products are short-lived. So a fungicide, we usually figure one to two weeks residual. That's it. So if you do this one time per year, is it really that big a deal? Probably not, especially when you consider we're not killing that many strains of fungus that are out there. Then you start thinking about, all right, well, what's really doing some good for these bacteria and fungi that are out there? Well, one of the biggest things that's helping them is when plants kick sugars out into the soil. When they kick more sugars out, then more bacteria and fungus, it multiplies. So I would say using a pesticide to control weeds, to kill insects, to kill certain diseases, Diseases, that's going to help make the plant yield more, which means we're probably going to have a lot more root mass. We're going to kick more sugars out. And I think the soil population of microbes is going to increase. Well, that's an interesting debate. And here's one of the things farmers really aren't measuring how many exact microbes there are in the soil. No, which but we types know they're important. There. Well, we do know they're important, but we also know there's good ones and there's bad ones. Yeah. And with many of the good ones, farmers are starting to put more biological or natural type products in the seed furrow and on the seed. So putting the good strains of fungus and the good strains of bacteria right there around your seed zone, well, many of those strains that farmers are putting out have been thoroughly tested to be able to be compatible with fungicides that farmers are using on the seed or in the furrow. So we're putting fungus out that's not going to be killed by these very specific fungicides that we're using to control harmful diseases. Yep, and the main reason we wanted to talk about this in our Farm Basics time today is there are a lot of people that have many misconceptions about pesticides. They think that pesticides kill everything in the world. Well, pesticides are very focused, very specific, and actually, because of the use of pesticides in most cases, we have healthier food, we have a much more abundant food supply, and we have more soil microbes. Our impact on soils is very important, but so is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show.